Lou Beltran here and um, marami nagtatanong sa aking um, IT workshop uh, tungkol sa question na to. Okay? Basically, ang recommendation daw sa kanila whenever um, they want to take cloud computing is kailangan daw muna nilang matuto ng Cisco, ng Linux, ng Microsoft before they move into cloud computing. Okay? Or, or marami rin nagsasuggest dyan or nag, nag sasabi na, uy, pag may kailangan kang arali na technology, you have to learn first X, Y before the technology Z. Okay? And in this video, I'm going to answer um, the specific problem and yung recommendation ko sa inyo. It's probably one of the best advice that I can give to you in terms of your career sa IT. Okay? So stay tuned about that one. Ito yung common question na nakukuha ko from my students whenever they try to learn a new technology. Okay? Ang, ang advice sa kanila, uh, they have to learn first daw uh, technology X, then technology Y, before they learn yung, yung goal nila which is technology Z. Okay? So let's put that, this into perspective. Itong workshop ko is teaching primarily cloud. Okay? But uh, majority ng mga nakukuha kong messages sa aking... Um, Facebook page and emails is that ang ang sabi daw sa kanila ang recommendation they don't uh, they they should not study daw cloud directly. Kailangan daw muna nilang mag uh, tapusin ang kanilang Cisco, then Linux, then Microsoft before studying cloud. Okay? So, itong question na to, okay, for me eh, is one of the biggest lies, okay, sa IT world. Okay? Actually, um this advice is one of the biggest misconceptions in life. Okay? That you first have to learn everything before you learn something. Okay? So, yun yung goal ng workshop ko. Okay? Kaya maraming IT students ang hindi tumutuloy sa kanilang uh, IT profession, mga IT graduates. Okay? Maraming hindi tumutuloy sa kanilang IT profession because of this specific advice. And let me tell you the truth right now. Okay? This is my, just my opinion, eh? pero let me tell you the truth right now. This is one of the biggest misconceptions that you can believe in. Okay, so um, let me give you an example. Okay. Mas maganda ibigay ko sa inyo sa example. So, let me just open up ang aking PowerPoint. Okay. So, mag-PowerPoint po tayo. Yan. Okay. So, live to. Okay. So, this is a, a live uh, uh, shoot uh, recording. <laughs> okay. So, uh, pagpasensyahan nyo na kung hindi ko to i-edit ngayon. Okay. So, let me just uh, open up a presentation here. So, let's just let's just try to draw. Okay. As a uh, 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 a workflow or uh, a chart yung uh, uh, suggestion na to. Okay. So, let's just say ito yung goal mo. Okay. So, let me just use yung ating uh, topic sa workshop, okay, which is cloud computing. Now, ang sabi sa, ang, ang advice sa kanila, okay, is they first have daw to study first, uh, study CCNA daw muna, or networking, computer networking, then, they have to study Linux, okay, then after Linux, they have to study Okay, Microsoft daw, or, or take the MCSA certifications. Okay. In terms of Linux naman, they have to take yung Linux Plus certifications ng CompTIA. Okay. Now, if I'm, if, kung susundin natin tong advice na to, okay, let's just put this in a timeline. Okay, in a timeline perspective. So, kuha tayo ng arrow dito. Studying for the CCNA, Okay, so medyo lakihan natin to. Okay, I can do this in a, a, a work uh, a whiteboard much more faster. <laughs> okay, pero hindi makikita yung screen ko and medyo malabo okay, yung aking whiteboard. So, uh, let's just wing it. Wing it na lang natin. Okay, so you have to study CCNA daw muna. Okay, 
Now, how long does it take for an average person to finish their CCNA? Okay. It usually takes around three to six months. Okay. Three months kung talagang mabilis kang matuto, six months. Okay. Kung uh, normal pacing ka. Okay. That's the average time for you to take to learn Cisco. Okay. CCNA. Now, six months na ang ginugol mo sa CCNA. Okay. Oops. So, then after six months, then, yes, after six months, okay, then you took up Linux. Okay. Now, Linux, um, you can take this one in two to four months. Uh, kasama na yung certification. Okay. So, that's the average uh, time spent in terms of learning this certain technology. Okay. Then, after mong pag-aralan ng Linux, Okay. So, mapansin ninyo, the maximum time na kaagad na to learn si CNA and Linux is already one year. Okay. So, after nung Linux, saka mo pag-aaralan ng Microsoft MCSA. So, MCSA is uh, if you want to dive in into the server, so yung 2019, uh, Windows 2019 server, then um, that's just fine. Okay. It will take you around another six months. Okay. So, ilan, ganun nakatagal yung ginugol mo? one year, six months, then that's the only time you will start studying cloud computing. And how long would that take? Another six months. So it will take you around two years to take all of this one. Kung susundin mo yung advice nila. Okay? But what if? What if? Okay? Let me just erase this one. Eh, you see natin to. But what if I'm going to tell you na you can study directly ang cloud computing. Specifically yung yung cloud, uh, any any of the cloud certifications na available sa atin ngayon. Uh, whether it's um, Microsoft Azure or uh, Google Cloud and uh, Amazon AWS. Okay? You can actually study directly cloud computing. Wala naman kasing requirements eh. Although, um, it's, it's, it's nice to learn uh, Cisco, Linux, and Microsoft kasi in reality, yes, it will help you learn uh, cloud computing, but you can actually directly learn cloud computing. Okay? Why not just take cloud computing directly? Okay? And learn cloud computing. Now, if um, uh, naka-encounter ka man ng topic sa cloud computing na hindi mo naintindihan, then that's the time in terms of, uh, for example, uh, Microsoft. Okay? May topic doon sa loob ng cloud computing uh, or may chapter doon or may lesson na it talks about Microsoft uh, operating systems, okay? Then that's the time for you to um, just go back, okay? Or to research kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng topic na yon or that specific chapter, okay? Pero ang recommendation ko sa inyo, don't uh, spend more time researching about Microsoft MCSA, pero just um, try to learn kung ano yung required Okay, for you to continue yung cloud computing. That will save you much more time and energy okay, than actually learning all of this okay, before starting cloud computing. And this will actually fast track din yung career mo. Okay? It will actually fast track yung career mo. Kasi learning cloud computing will only take you around a maximum of six months. And after that six months, automatic, pwede ka na mag-apply ka agad. Instead of you going through CCNA, Linux, and Microsoft before starting with cloud computing. Okay? So, in reality, ganun din sa Cisco. Okay? Marami nagsasabi, uy, may mga nag-a-advise dyan sa YouTube or may nag-a-advise dyan sa ibang groups or nag-a-advise yung friends ko. Wag daw directly kumuha ng Cisco. Mag-aral daw muna ng CompTIA. Okay? So, that's another... Uh, uh, issue that you're going to have. Mag-aaral ka ng CompTIA, which takes around four months. Then, saka mo palang pag-aaralan yung Cisco. And, mag-apply after learning Cisco, that's the only time you will apply for a job. 
Okay. Same din also with cloud computing. Ang dami masyadong um, cloud computing jobs ngayon uh, here in the Philippines and globally in the whole world. Pero ang gagawin mo muna daw is mag-aaral ka muna ng, ng CCNA Linux and Microsoft before taking cloud computing. Okay. If you just learn directly yung cloud computing, it will save you much more time and effort. Okay? And you can immediately apply for jobs. Okay? Instead of learning all of this one and taking you two years. Okay? Now, let me take this into another perspective. Okay? Um, itong video ko, okay? uh, another example, kumbaga. Itong video ko, I'm I'm currently reaching out to you guys, okay, to you, uh, via this video, okay. Um, this is social media, okay. Pero when I'm creating this video, did I have to learn first uh, uh, videography, video editing before I can do this, okay? Before I start actually talking to you guys and giving you advices, ano mas magandang gawin? Do I learn that first? and uh, start making videos or I just directly make videos and um, try to learn as I go along. Okay? That's the reality of life. Okay? Um, mas mag, um, it's, much more, uh, it's much better for you to actually start learning what you love okay? than following others' advice that will actually take you a much more longer route. Um, I mean, yung advice nila is, uh, was given in, uh, how do you say this? Uh, into consideration para hindi ka mahirapan. Okay? I, I, I know there's a term for that one na English. Okay. Okay. Um, so, binigay nila yung advice na yun in, in, in hoping that it will make you learn a specific topic or a specific uh, skill, okay, much more easier, okay, but it takes a very long time to do. But if you directly learn the skill that you like and you want to do, and if you encounter issues or uh, problems that you don't understand, try research. That's the time you research it, but not uh, to the point where it uh, distracts you already from your goal. Okay. Kaya maraming IT professionals ang na, uh, ganito or, or straight ang kanilang skill set. So, diniscuss ko to sa aking uh, workshop. Okay. Uh, the T-shaped person. Okay. Maraming IT professionals na ganito ang skill set. Marami silang alam. Okay. Marami silang alam. Okay. But they don't have any specialization. Okay. Which makes it uh, makes the T-shaped uh, person. Okay. Now, bakit marami silang alam? Because they follow each other's advice. Okay? To the point na hindi na nila alam kung saan ba sila talaga tutungo or ano talaga ang love nila sa IT. Okay? Because they listen to other people's advice. But if they just start learning what they love, okay, and do that and start learning that one and start practicing, okay, kahit hindi mo to alam, kahit wala kang background about this one, okay, then, you're already saving time and starting to uh, slowly build yung specialization mo sa T-shape method. Okay. Now, medyo magulo tong video ko. Okay. Um, uh, but this, that's basically the gist. Okay. Kung may nagbigay sa'yo ng advice na you have to learn technology X and Y before you start technology Z. Okay. I'm telling you right now, um, for me, ah, Okay, that's just not true. Okay, you can directly learn technology Z or in terms of my workshop, uh, cloud computing. Okay. And um, really, start learning that one kahit hindi mo pa masyado siyang kabisado or alam. Because that's the point of learning. Okay. Um, you actually start learning when you start doing things and you start really tackling the problem. Hindi yung magre-research ka muna ng ganito para na at uh, magre-research ka or kailangan mo muna tapusin itong certain topic na to bago mo simulan yung isa. Hindi. Start directly with what you love. Okay? Then, if you encounter problems uh, or, or uh, topics that you don't understand, okay? then that's the only time you research about it. 
but not too much to the point na matidistract ka. Okay. okay, so that's it, fellow IT engineers. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, make sure you comment down below on what you think about this video and start discussing this one. Okay? And I'll be just joining also on the discussions. Okay? I'll be answering uh, your questions and hopefully um, marami kayo natutunan. Okay? Um, don't forget to sh uh, follow me on Facebook okay? um, and like my uh, page Lou Beltran, uh, the IT uh, veteran. Also, um, don't uh, in terms kung ipopost ko to sa aking YouTube uh, channel, um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like okay? uh, my YouTube page, uh, Lou Beltran, the IT veteran, same name. Okay? And um, don't forget to go to my main website pala, okay? which is uh, lubeltran.com and make sure you grab yung copy ko ng book. So I'm going to put here, uh, the book, okay, it's called Salary Negotiations and IT Interview Tips for IT Professionals. So it's a guide for you guys uh, on in terms of the uh, the interview process ng, mga, ng IT professionals and how to negotiate yung salary ninyo when you're already the final candidate for the job uh, position. So that's it, uh, fellow IT engineers, and I'll see you in the next lesson.